All right, what's going on, Giants fans? Doing a film breakdown. I'm getting a little more excited about this one than the Devontae Booker one. Giants signed wide receiver John Ross on a one-year, $2.5 million deal. It's a one mil guaranteed, so I'm sure there's some there's some type of incentives you know put in there, or you know maybe a, a you know opening day roster bonus. We'll see. But anyways, John Ross, who is he? Well, we all know him as a guy who set the 40-time record at the combine uh, out of the University of Washington. Bengals pick him ninth overall. Hasn't lived up to that. He just, I mean, he's getting that contract second year. It hasn't lived up to that. Uh, he's 5'11", 194 pounds, 25 years old. Last year just didn't play at all, really. Uh, 2019, though, he played eight games, had 28 catches, 506 yards, three touchdowns. So in half the season, he had 506 yards. Uh, the year before, 21 catches, 210 yards, and seven touchdowns, which is kind of a crazy number. 21 catches, and he had seven touchdowns. Um, he's had injury issues. He has drop issues. He is he is some something you need to work on. This isn't like an answer to the Giants' needs. He's something you need to work on and use him the co the correct way. And he kind of is going to benefit from a, a fresh start with the Giants compared to the Bengals, where he he just was never even if he played well this past year was never going to live up to that draft spot that the Bengals draft him at ninth overall. And he gets reunited with Dante Pettis. When I mean, those guys put up like over two, like those guys put up thirty-two touchdowns together in one season. Um, so obviously, we know him for the speed. Let's get into it. Bam! Let's watch some. Let's watch. Let's watch some John Ross film. Okay, so we're gonna go through some of the bigger bigger plays first. We got him lined up here. Now this is a flea flicker, but it was a game. I, I you know I went through three games. This was one of them. I mean, I guess credit to him at this point, you know, winning this. But this is more play design than anything. Nice yak, though, you know, break that tackle. Juke this guy. You know, that could be the difference between seven points and three points. But I, I wanted to throw that one in there and get that one out of the way. So next, uh, next play, first play we're looking at, got him lined up right here. And he lines up on the outside in the slot all over. So he is versatile in that way. Fifty-five yard touchdown. Let's go. Let's go through it. So they're playing this safety over the top. They got a too high safety. Look, this corner has got outside leverage, obviously, and he's ready to bail. He's ready to bail and try and get step for step with John Ross. And John Ross gives him that little out and up, and that out and up just gets that corner out of. You know, the idea of bailing and, and, and sprinting with them. And it allows John Ross to get that separation. So that little out and up allows Ross to get that separation with his speed. Now the ball is thrown badly. I mean, this should have been an interception to be real. Or at least a pass broken up by the safety. But nonetheless. Goes up and gets it. Finishes the play. Big plays. That's what the Giants need. That they need big plays. Next play, we got them lined up at um, stack right here. So we got them on this deep crosser. This is this pass ends up being incomplete, but just showing wow, you know, the a lot of teams like to throw these blitzes at the Giants and or do disguise blitzes. You pit John Ross, let him go up the middle of the field. I mean, look at all this space that John Ross has right now. This is and that's a lot of space. Now the, the the pass rush gets to Andy Dalton, but if that pass rush holds up, you have a touchdown. Now one of his issues is he looks back at the ball a ton. I would like him, you know, to not you know be able to, you know, look back but not sit there and track it for ten minutes. Um, but again, like those are plays where there could have been touchdowns. Next play, we got him uh, right here down in the slot. I don't consider that a drop. It's not the greatest tracking. But again, using the right way. So you got these two Rodgers here stacked up on each other. You got man coverage. Or at least got man with this nickel corner. Give him that outside release. Give him that outside release. Put this safety down here. 
Now, like this is where I was saying with the ball tracking. He's got his head turned here. So he's tracking the ball for almost 20 yards. You know? You know, the be- you know, the best wide receivers in the game, they kind of know when that ball is coming out. And they don't need to track. And that, that loses, you know, that, that loses a step. That could be the difference between a catch here for John Ross. But you do see the speed and separation on it. Next play, we got him lined up uh, up here, I believe. Yeah. Or no, sorry, we got him lined up in the slot again. Sorry. Got tight coverage. Bam, that's speed. Yeah, that's, that's separation in the NFL. Sets it up with the release. Bam, go. I mean, and that corner is sprinting with him. You can turn that into so many other things, which we'll see. And the ball's not even thrown great. Thrown behind him makes the catch. Adjust, adjust and makes the catch. So, as much as the drops are an issue, which we'll get to last, he can make some contested catches. Now we got him lined up here in the as the X, outside receiver, inside release. Bam. I mean, all the space in the world. Now, the safety's over the top on this one. You get that inside release, that's good separation at this point. With John Ross's speed, that's good separation. And how does this help the Giants too? This can help with Darius Slayton. Okay? So, yeah, does this safety come over the top? But if the Giants are, are throwing this ball out here and they got, you know, a nice matchup with Darius Slayton, it gives the Giants options. Where it's like you got two guys to have that deep threat. Um, we got them lined up here now. Down at the bottom. I mean, this should be a touchdown. Shows the corner. That little blip. Now go. Find space. Find space. And this ball's thrown badly. We'll see it. We'll see it from the other angle. This has to be six. The QB has to put the ball on him. Give him a chance on this one. Again, you shouldn't be overthrowing John Ross. That should be six points right there. That's six points that, that the QB left off the board for, for John Ross. Now let's see how the deep speed kind of opens up some of the intermediate stuff. Uh, first play, we got him lined up here in the slot. On this dig route. Just let him use his speed. These are long developing routes. You got this linebacker in zone. This wide receiver is clearing out, creating the safety. You got the, these linebackers down here. Now you got you got space. Let him get there. Bam. Nice ball from Dalton. Space. With like a little more of an effort there. But just gives him that space. Those dig routes should be there all day. You don't need to be a great route runner to run those digs. Again, if teams are playing man coverage versus the Giants, those are the type of routes you should be running with John Ross. Got him down here with another dig route. He trips on this one. But if he doesn't, there's there's a ball right there to be caught. Gets thrown a little high by Dalton. But again, there's that space. This is that space where John Ross can get it. Where this corner is not going to play tight with him in cover three. He's not going to. He's not going to because he has to respect that deep ability. And that's where John Ross gives you fav- favorable matchups. That's where John Ross gives you those favorable matchups. Got him lined up um, here. Bam. On this out. Our inside release. Gets this corner's hips turned. This corner, this corner is turning and running with him. Bam. Puts the brakes on. And the corner can't adjust. The corner can't adjust because he's worried about that speed of John Ross. And you get yourself a nice 30-yard play. Here we got him lined up in the slot. Now, we saw this with Odell. and I'm, 
please don't, uh, you know, I'm not comparing John Ross to Odell. But where was this last year with the Giants? You got a slant. And now you got yards. And the Giants got a, a ton of man coverage played against them. A ton of blitzes and man coverage. Where was this play for the Giants in 2020? Where this guy catches it and goes. Golden Tate wasn't doing it. Sterling Shepard played good, but he wasn't doing it. Darius Slayton had, you know, a couple plays where he had some yak. Where is this play for the Giants in 2020? You catch a slant and you turn a 7-yard pass, a 10-yard pass into 30 yards. That didn't happen for the Giants. And honestly, I'm a little disappointed he didn't get out here to the corner. He kind of turns it up and field a little more and tries to juke. That could have been six points right there. That could have been six points for, for the Bengals. Here, we got him lined up uh, right here. This is more towards garbage time, so there is bench players in. But nonetheless, gets this corner's hips turned. Because he's, he, you know, I don't like how the corner's you're turning his hips towards the sideline. But nonetheless, this dig route catches it. And I get that these aren't the starters at this point, but they're NFL players. Okay, and you have one, two, three here. Go. Go. Can't teach that. You can't teach that. And that's why you take a chance on a guy like John Ross. You can't teach that type of stuff. You can't teach that speed. And that's what that's what gets you excited about a guy who hasn't had the best production. Got him lined up up top now. Okay, and... What I noticed is because of the space he was given, he did a pretty good job on these out routes. He's not rounding them. He's got a cushion. Nice catch. You're going to play off me? If you're going to play off me, I'm going to do that. Got him lined up here again. He even has outside. Um, they got outside leverage. You got this linebacker playing the flats. Nice throw. Good catch. That's what happens when you have that respect. That's what happens when you get that type of respect. Got him lined up here. Again, look at the space. With two deep safeties, look at the space he's getting right here. This actually may have been an end of the half play. So, But nonetheless, corners gets his hips turned. Bam, nice catch. Two feet down. Yeah, you know what? I, I over exaggerated on that one. This is an end of a half play, <laughs> but still, still, I should have just ignored that and be like, "Look how, look how much they respect the Bengals. They don't respect them that much." Um, stop, stop over exaggerating, Bobby. I got him here at the top. Here's where they are. You know, playing some regular coverage. Speed. Corner's got his hips turns in. Bam. Breaks out. Up. Up. Out. That's nice separation right there. Nice separation. Can use him a little bit in the smoke game down here too. You know, this is the first down for the for the Bengals. Let him let him catch the ball and go. Another one, got him down here. Catch the ball. You got one, two, three. Let him get some yards. I mean, that's a nice, that's a, that's a nice juke right there. Whoop, whoop. That's some good stuff there. Now here's here's the bad part with John Ross, and I'm just gonna play this and and talk through it. The drops are a serious issue, and I'm gonna and we're gonna count them. We're gonna go through the yards. He had 15 drops the past in in 2018 and 2019. You left yards on the on the field. 17 yards. Now, this isn't the greatest thrown ball, but it does hit his hands. That's 17 yards dropped right there by John Ross. That's 17 yards. Here we go on the jag route. Drops that. Look at all that space, man. We'll say five. We'll just say where the ball, hit, you know, where the route is, is, where the ball is hitting him. That's five yards right there. So now we're at 22 yards loss, even though it's more like, you know, an extra 45 yards. That's the issue with John Ross, man. It's a real issue. So right now we're at 22 yards. Got him up the seam. Got a nice, you know, route during the seam using that speed. 
drops 35 yards. 35 yards. Now we got 57 yards worth of drops. Here, probably wouldn't have got any more yards. We'll call it 60 yards. Or 3 yards total. So now we're at 60 yards of drops on 4 plays. Out route. Drop. That's 9 yards. Now we got 69. Nice. Deep ball. Deep ball to the left. I mean, a beautiful ball by Andy Dalton. Good separation. That's 40 yards. So now we're at 109 yards worth of drops. 15 yards. I mean, this is a this is a dangerous throw. A tight throw. And that's that's just on three games that I watch, you've got seven drops worth 130 yards. That's that's a lot, man. That's 43 yards a game. That's 43 yards a game in those three in those three games. So um that it those are the reasons why this is a cheap deal. A cheap deal. Um, so there's not much risk with John Ross, man, but I, I, I'm excited about this signing because there's no risk and there's such a high reward. If you can get this, you know, look at the way Nelson Aguilar kind of turned around his career with the Raiders. Now he's signing big money deals with the Patriots. So there's a lot of potential there and there's not much expectation for John Ross. And you know what? Hopefully it can open some stuff up for Darius Slayton. We'll see what the Elsa Giants do at wide receiver. Maybe they did something while I'm recording this video. Let me check. Let me, let me let me let me let me let me check Twitter. Let's see if I miss anything. While you're while I'm checking, please like and subscribe. We're putting out a ton of free agency stuff. Putting out, I'm not doing the instant reaction video since we're doing podcasts. Um, you know, like next day podcasts. I don't want to take away from that. And I actually want to do my homework instead of doing instant reaction. Um, so so good stuff. Like subscribe, and I can't pull up Twitter fast enough. So appreciate you guys. Let's go big blue.